Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today, let's make something easy, simple, and fun, okay? I'm gonna show you how to make a flail, a weapon, okay? I'm gonna delete the light, delete the camera. Oh, I'm gonna turn on my screen case. Sorry if I'm a little bit too fast. I used to be too fast, but well, if I'm too fast, I don't focus on the detail. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna apply a subdivision surface on the default cube. I'm gonna press Control 1, okay? I've got something like that. And let's apply the, uh, the subdivision. Control I, not Control I. Just go to here and hit apply. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to ed edit mode. I'm gonna press I twice. Got something like that. And I'm gonna extrude. Go to this one to the face. Face here. Extrude face along normal. You can just right click it too. Okay. <laughs> Oh, make sure you set it the individual origin, okay? I'm gonna control Z that. Make sure to set it individual origin, okay? Now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make sure in face select, go to face along normal, okay? And you put something like that. Doesn't matter how long you want. No, go with. I'm gonna something like that. Doesn't have to be that long. If you want it long, well, but that's up to you. Let's scale. Note that I'm not gonna make this thing very sharp because there's no such thing as sharp as object or something. Because if you zoom the object, you think that it's sharp and pointy, but it there actually a little bit of square. Okay, it's still sharp, but well, not the sharpest. <laughs> okay, so you got something like that. That's very good. And let's add a, another subdivision surface again. And you got something like that. It's like a coronavirus. <laughs> increase the level of viewport to anything you like. If you increase it to three, also fine. But yeah, if your PC can handle it, it should be fine. When you are in random mode, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Gonna control A to apply. Not apply it. Don't apply it yet. Let's try shade smooth. Yep. Got something like that. Okay. Now let's make the chain. I'm going to press one now. Let's make the chain. For the chain, I'm going to use a torus. Rotate that to the X, 90 degree. Rotate it again to the 90 degree to the Z. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Why do I have to rotate that? Scale that to Z. Wrap there. Scale. There. Mm, that's way too small. Scale shift set. Ah, that's quite big. Oh, scale that to Z. I think my torus is bad. Gonna add another one. Add the torus. Rotate that to the X. Let's grab over there and scale it. Just go something like that. To make it chainish look, scale it to the X. Make it Ovalish. Okay, got something like that. Let's put that a little bit deeper. Okay, now let's duplicate this torus. Shift D to duplicate and press 7. I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna go to this X ray mode so I'm gonna so I didn't see any overlapping or anything there. Now, it, okay, that's not overlapping. Okay, grab that. See if overlapping again. Nope, didn't overlap. It is overlapping. Not a tape there. Okay, that's something like that. It doesn't it didn't meet over there, but let me see. Oh. Okay. okay, that's something like that. Now let's oh let's use three, maybe three. Add again, rotate there to the Z. It's a little bit weird angle there like that let me see if it's overlap nope it's not overlapping okay now let's uh oh, one now let's join these three together okay control j to join and let's duplicate another one there we go rotate that to the there grab that up see see rotate that to the z 
Okay. And let's take this one again. Feel free to duplicate. Make it longer. Now this time it's longer. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it like that. Right over there. Right over there. Press one. Let's see if it's long enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe one more. Oh, add one more. Shift D to duplicate. Rotate. There, wrap it away. Let me see. Oh, it's overlapping. Okay, right. That looks good, guys. That looks good. Now let's join them all together. Control J to join. Okay, and now the last, the last part we're gonna make. Let's make the stick of it. Okay, I'm gonna use the cylinder. Rotate. Uh, I think it's a Y, 90 degree. Yes, it's a Y. And I'm gonna scale it down. Oh, scale it to the X, make it longer. Short, long, well, that depends on me. Scale shift set. Nope, not scale shift set, it's just scale. That's gonna be the handle. Rip, I'm gonna rotate. Okay, make something like that. You can make. How you make your mace, it actually depends on you, okay? I'm gonna press 7. Let's see now. Rotate. That to the Z. Grab that to the Y. Grab that to the X. Hmm. Alt R to undo the rotation. Did I rotate? Uh, you know what? It's still fine. Okay. This, uh, I think this one is bad. Let me make another one. Cylinder rotate to the Y90 degree. Scale, grab, scale, and scale to the X. Doesn't matter how long you want. Completely up to you. If you want it to be longer. <laughs> okay. There. Okay, it would be great if we add uh, if we add one more chain, okay? So I'm gonna add one more torus. Wrap that to the Z. Press one off, okay, in front view. Rotate X 90 degree, scale. This one is gonna be a little bit bigger. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay, let's wrap this up. I don't mind if it's overlapping. Okay, that's going to be my handle. Now let's uh, adjust some few of these. Control R, oh, machine or edit mode. This, what I'm doing here is just adding a few, maybe a detail cool detail or something like that that's what i'm doing now I'm gonna add maybe there control b make it a little bit bigger i believe and i'm gonna extrude this extrude face along normal okay extrude face along normal now i'm gonna make it smaller let me see if it works, if it works. okay i got something like that and for the on for over here Uh, here, I set this one. Okay, that view. Okay, now control V. It's gonna be the handle. That's yes, some, some grid. Add screwed. Oh, okay, select again. Add screwed face along normal. This time gonna be outside. Get the grid. A little bit or maybe more. Completely up to you. And that's how I make my um flail very simple tool right now let's let's join this together control j to join shade smooth them and this one shade smooth as well but we got we we're gonna have a problem okay that's the problem is over here you can see there if you wing 
this this other problem if you lazy enough i mean you want it to be simple just go to here the normal and enable auto smooth okay but i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i'm gonna delete those face and i'm gonna delete the face here as well okay i'm gonna use a subdivision surface on these I want it smoother. Okay, something like that. Let's go this one. Third scale. This one and this one. Oh. Hold this one, this one, and grab that to the edge. To make it longer. Okay. And let's go to this one only. Mm -hmm. Scale. It's third scale. And M by center. So the problem is still there, but it hot, it barely visible. But I don't want it like that. So I'm gonna screw scale. I make it as small as I can and press F here. And it should be it should be a problem. Okay. Same as the back. This screw scale. Make it smaller. Oh, maybe. You know what? I think I'm gonna make something else for the back. Okay, close that. That. Let's screw the scale. And let's screw that to the X. And let's screw that again to the X. And then we scale. Okay. Screw the scale. Okay. Now it's small. Small, small, small. Press F to fill, and the problem should barely visible. Okay, it may be still visible, but well, not too much. Increase the subdivision surface. Yeah, shade smooth. Yes, I shade smooth. There would be still a problem here, but it's barely, barely visible. So it should be okay. If you're okay with it, then leave it like that. Over there. Over this one. Okay. And that's how I make my handle. I don't know if this is this a mace with a long handle. Makes sense to you. <laughs> Completely, uh, whatever. Okay, uh, let's go to shading. Let's paint the metal first. This, I'm going to add a texture. But I'm going to use color ram actually. Color ram to this one. For the base color. But if you want to use that, then it's completely, I'm going to use the bump. So I'm going to leave this one as a metal. A black metal, I believe. Specular. Over there, the roughness, we don't want to be done like that. That's, that's still a metal, but I feel it's look like a glass. So just a little bit. Something like that. Okay. And now let's do the bump. So now I have the vector, bump. Normal to the normal. Let's use the noise. Or maybe you can use the wave. Completely up to you. I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use the wave. Let's try the wave now. Color is it uh here? Got something like that. Very weird. Distortion. Now I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the noise. Fact to the height. If you choose the color, it's also fine, okay? But it shows different texture. If you like it, leave it like that. I mean, go like that. <laughs> the detail, I'm going to increase. Roughness. Oh, I don't want like that. I want it like these. And the important part is the strength. Okay? Reduce the strength. You only want a little bit of strength. Okay, let me see there. Hmm. That's very sharp and very well very heavy as well <laughs> and for the chain let's try if we can let's see if we can use this one yep the chain and this one is the same so whatever <laughs> for the wool for this one the stick well you know me i'm gonna go with oh, oh wrong wrong one wrong one and this one actually i'm gonna use some wood wood stuff there, make it a little bit darker. Okay. It's 
steel metal, but the brown metal, which is type specular. Go with nah, I don't need specular roughness. I don't think I'm gonna go like that. Okay, yeah, it's gonna break very easily. Now I'm gonna add the vector again. I do the same. The noise, noise texture, guys, noise texture. Back to the height. Don't don't worry if it looks that that weird. Okay, because you can adjust that if you want. Adjust until you got something that you like. I mean, crystal roughness, something like that. The most important part is the strength. If you want it later, just make it later. Okay? But the strength is the important part. Now that look like a woodish type there. I don't think it makes sense, right? If it's a wood, I'm gonna change it to metal. Like that roughness, gold metal, I believe. The dark like that roughness. Mm, yeah, it just looks still looks like a wood, but now it has metal. Okay, there it is, guys. There. So that's how I made my uh, flail, there, guys. What you're seeing right now is a uh, completely. Uh, I rendered it. it took, took about maybe two, three minutes, something like that, because well, I used texture. Maybe texture that it, the the one that took time is actually the texture. Okay, or maybe maybe something like that. Okay, <laughs> so. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and try it yourself. Make, make, make something like this. Explore Blender. Find anything new. And happy blendering. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Okay. Bye now.